This is the weirdest scratcher. But the funny thing is, it's me. And for me to explain how all of this happened, we'll need to go back to when I first embarked on this journey to become the weirdest scratcher only seven days ago. I'm getting kind of scared, bro. Like, what if I like actually fail this? Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, it's time to get weird. My mission is obviously to become the weirdest scratcher in seven days with no help from my main account. We need a plan for this challenge and after some thinking, I think that I've got one. So we will make a bunch of weird projects. Pretty self-explanatory, right? But there's a problem with this. No one is going to be really interested in these weird projects. So to combat this, we will also be making a game and not just any game, an actual high quality game. All we need to do is promote this game and then on the game, we will add links to the weird projects. Then people will see the weird projects and then they will realize that I'm weird, making me the weirdest scratcher. But how will we make our weird projects? Well, that's what I was thinking as well around like five minutes ago. But now I know exactly how. So one thing many people find very weird is obsessions. So we're going to make ourselves obsessed with something such as Shrek, potatoes, or even baby shark. I'm not super confident in this, so we may need to come up with a better idea later. But right now, let's just get started. To come up with the obsession, I just asked ChatGPT, and the first thing it suggested was rubber ducks. I mean, it wasn't a bad idea, so I decided to just stick with it. And to rub in the fact that I was obsessed with ducks, I mean my username and my profile picture both rubber duck related. And I think that my profile picture in itself was pretty weird. Like, bro, it literally looks like you. But this is not weird enough. Now it's time to make projects showing our obsession with rubber ducks. And the first project is going to be pretty funny. So there's this AI music generator called Suno and it's surprisingly really, really good. So basically, we're going to make a song about rubber ducks using it. And after a few attempts, I finally got a song that sounded absolutely beautiful. Just listen. So yeah. After generating the song, I quickly threw it into Scratch and shared the project. Well, this definitely makes our account look a bit odd, but it's still not weird enough. So it's time to make another project. And this one was really fun to make. It was an edit. An edit about ducks. And it's honestly not even that bad. Like, I watched it at least 30 times after I was finished. For fun. Uh -uh. After sharing this project though, I didn't really feel like making another project, so I decided to ask my friend Bob for some advice on what to do next. He told me that I should spam comment sections, and that sounded like a good idea to me at the time. So I started making some really cool comments, and after just writing a few comments, the worst possible thing happened. That's good guys. Um, so like basically... Uh, my account got banned. Uh, so yeah, uh, my projects are gone too. So I, I can't like repost them on a new account or anything. Like they're gone. They're they're gone forever. Like, I basically wasted the entirety of today. And it, I think it's because I was posting those comments. I was just just being like stupid. But I, I don't see why they would ban me over that. Like, it, it's a joke. It's a joke. No, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna become. I'm just gonna become Jackson Academy. I'm just gonna be salty in all my videos from now on. That, that's me. I am. I am the next Sully Bully. Yeah. So that's pretty much like what I gotta say. I guess we need to make a new account, but like right now, I mean, yeah. For now, I'm just gonna take a little break from Scratch. I think we've done enough Scratch for today. <sighs> yeah. And looking back at this, I don't even think I got banned because of those comments. I think it's more likely that I got banned because my projects were quote unquote 
putting down scratch cat i did absolutely nothing wrong so if you're watching the scratch team please fix your moderation system So, some unfortunate events may have come upon us yesterday, but we need to put that behind us and look towards the future. We've already wasted one day, so we need to make up for that lost time. That means that today, we'll need to redo all the things that we did yesterday and make even more projects. So, let's get to work. I started this day by making another account. I set it up with the same profile picture and a similar username, Ruber Duke. Surprisingly, I was able to remake the original projects much quicker than I did on day one. This left me with a lot of time to make new projects. I did didn't really have any ideas for weird projects so i decided to ask my friend bob again and he gave me the best idea ever skibbity toilet i don't even have to explain myself skibbity toilet is possibly the weirdest thing to ever exist this was a perfect opportunity for me but a question popped up what type of project would i actually create i spent a while thinking about this but after some extremely deep contemplating i knew that there was only one project that i could make a song and this song wouldn't be like the AI Duck song. No, this project would be sung and rapped by me. I'm so sorry for what you're about to listen to. Skibbity toilet, skibbity toilet. No more skibbity, guys. But just remember that I'm a Sigma, I'm a Rizzler, and the Rizzler Babu. I love skibbity toilet. Um, anyways, yeah, let's just forget about that. You did not hear that and it's not real. This is not part of the video and it's just your imagination. At this point, I still had a little bit of time left in the day. So I decided that I had enough time for one last weird project. But again, I had no idea what to do. So I decided to ask my Discord what they thought was weird. And I got a few pretty good responses. But there was one that stood out as a winner. Farts. They are very weird. So it's time to make a project about them. I was honestly kind of tired. So I decided to make a very simple project. I just played a fake fart sound effect over a PNG of a duck. Peak quality if you ask me. Today was a very eventful day. Uh, we got so much work done and things are starting to look up for us. Honestly, the projects that I made on day one weren't very weird, but the two new projects I made today were definitely quite weird. I actually think that we've made enough weird projects now, so I think that tomorrow we should start working on the actual game that will help us promote our weird projects. So I was really busy yesterday. I couldn't record for the entire day and it looks like we wasted yet another day. But we can't dwell upon that and lose even more time. So today we're going to start working on our game. This will be difficult as we are in quite the time crunch, but if we work hard enough, we will be able to do it. Okay, but we need an idea for our game though. Because ducks have been the theme of our account so far, I thought it only makes sense if they were also the theme of our game. So I decided to name the game Little Duckling. So basically it's gonna be a platformer and that's all I've really figured out so far. I'll just add more features as we go. The first thing I did was make some art for the player. I actually took heavy inspiration from this one tutorial, so thanks to Fido Origami for making it. I usually make my art by myself, but the moment I saw this art, I knew that I would have to steep borrow it. The next thing I did was add in some animations. These animations really help our game feel like it's alive and not just a rushed, unpolished demo. After making these animations, I started working on some art for the ground. I think it came out pretty good. It matches the bubbly style of the duck, so I was happy with it. After that, I finally started the actual code for the game by making the platforming engine. Usually I don't make many modifications to my platforming engines, but this time I added a couple of them. For example, I coded it so that the player can jump higher the longer they hold down the up arrow key, and I also made it so that the force of gravity was weaker when the player jumped, compared to when he would just fall down. These are all minor tweaks, but they help our game feel more complete. The next thing... Wait a second, it's time to do my daily brilliant lesson and continue my 23 day streak. Wait. You've never heard of Brilliant? Well, let me tell you about it. Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. My favorite part about Brilliant is the fact that you can do it all from the comfort of your phone. This makes it easier to create a habit of learning. And I mean, it has certainly worked on me. Like, bro, look at my streak. Also, their method of using interactive lessons instead of boring lecture videos makes learning easier and much more enjoyable. Additionally, Brilliant helps you develop your problem solving skills instead of just making you memorize things. This teaching method makes you a better thinker. In other words, you can use Brilliant to combat skibbity toilet from rotting your brain. No more skibbity, guys. 
Oh, there goes your imagination again. That was definitely not real, bro. Brilliant's programming courses help you think like a programmer and learn essential coding elements. And yes, these fundamentals can be applied to Scratch as well as any programming language. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash viper or click on the link in the description. You also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Okay, where were we again? Oh yeah. We had just finished the platforming scripts. After making the platforming engine, I made a main menu for our game. And I have to say, I think that it's the best main menu that I've made throughout my five years of Scratch. At this point, the sun was starting to set, so I wrapped up for the day. We're starting to get to the end of this challenge. We basically only have today and tomorrow to finish Little Duckling before we have to share it. I'm honestly feeling a little bit hopeless for this challenge right now, and I'm starting to think that we might not be able to become the weirdest scratcher. This kind of happens every single time I make one of these videos, so this feeling isn't really new. For now, I think we should just hope for the best. I started this day off by thinking about what feature I should add next to Little Duckling. I felt that the game was generic and needed a main gimmick or mechanic. So like any sane man, I asked ChatGPT for some help, and one idea it gave me was make Making the duck fly. That would make the duck a bit too overpowered though, so I decided to instead just code a gliding mechanism. This is similar to flying, but it makes more sense for our game. I also added this really cool particle effect that appears when you start gliding. This is just a nice piece of polish to our game. I think it looks really cool and I was really happy with it. The next feature I implemented was spikes. If you've ever played a single scratch platformer, you know that you always need to have them no matter what, so I added them in. They're just there I guess. And it was around this time that I started working on level design. I also made some dialogue for levels. It's just just the classic text at the top of our screen. It just tells the player what they need to do and makes the game feel more lively. After I got tired of level design, I decided that I was going to start working on another feature. This feature was water. Earlier, ChatGPT told me that ducks can swim well or something, so that's why I decided to make water. It's pretty simple. Basically, it makes gravity slower and you can use the up arrow key to swim up. Self-explanatory. And I was actually starting to get a bit tired, so I decided to end the day here. The recordings for day 6 actually start at around 1am. I was just thinking about the game at night and got extremely worried that I wouldn't have enough time to finish it, so I got out of bed and started working. I spent this time finishing all of the levels for the game. This took a long time and it felt really good when I was done. The next thing that I did was start working on the ending cutscene to the game. I came up with a really good idea for ending the game, but I was a bit worried that I wouldn't be able to finish it. It was a really big idea, so it would take a whole lot of time to make, but I decided it would be worth giving it a shot. I thought that I had done enough work for the night at this point as it was past 3 a.m., so I decided to let myself rest for the big day ahead of us. Good morning, everyone. Uh, since tomorrow is the last day, uh, we'll need to actually share Little Duckling today. Uh, it's actually like really, really nerve wracking, but it's now or never. So here's what we'll be doing. First, we're going to finish the cutscene. Then we'll make a thumbnail for the game. Next, post the game, and then we'll promote it. So let's get to work and finish everything once and for all. I started by working on the cutscene. I was super excited because I thought the story was super good, but I'm not going to tell it to you right now because I want to keep it a secret. So stick around to the end of the video where I will reveal it. I spent hours working on the cutscene and it was pretty difficult work, but I soon realized that I just didn't have enough time. I would have to make a decision, either continue work on the cutscene and risk losing precious time or quit the cutscene and save time. I'm sorry, but I had to pick the second option. Time was running out and every single second is valuable in challenges like this. Strapping the story made me quite sad, honestly, but sacrifices had to be made. The next thing I did was add a thumbnail to our game. It turned out pretty good actually. I was hoping that with this thumbnail, we would be able to attract a lot of viewers. And now, the game was basically finished. So after putting a link to one of our weird projects in the description, I shared the game and started promoting it. While promoting Little Duckling, I was actually listening to my Skibbity Duck song. I don't know why, man. I'm a wizard and a wizard of everyone. I love Skibbity Twilight. I did this for multiple hours until the day finally ended and I went to sleep. My plan had now been fully activated and in the morning, we would learn if it had worked. Yo, I'm actually kind of scared, bro. I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to, like, do this. It's, like, late at night right now. I'm getting kind of scared, bro, like... 
What if I like actually fail this, bro? Like seven days down the drain, bro. That's crazy, bro. I, I don't want that to happen. I'm actually kind of scared, bro. This game needs to, everything just needs to work out. It's the last day. Everything just needs to work out tomorrow. If like one thing goes wrong tomorrow, we're, we're completely cooked, we're cooked. Bro, I'm actually scared. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, good night everyone. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully we succeeded. Okay guys, it's morning time, and it's the last day of the challenge. When we log into Scratch today, we'll either come out victorious, or leave this challenge empty-handed. I don't know if our game did well or not, so we just have to check. I opened up Scratch with anticipation and fear. I was terrified and excited at the same time. Everything we have done over the past week has led up to this moment. My heart was pounding and my head was racing. I was on the edge of my seat and the silence was killing me. But when I finally... And they will realize that I'm weird, making me the weirdest scratcher. And so, like, basically, uh, my account got banned. And things are starting to look up for us. I'm honestly feeling a little bit hopeless for this challenge right now. And finish everything once and for all. I'm actually kind of scared, bro. But when I finally logged in, I was greeted with nothing, nothing. My projects didn't do well. I only had around 10 comments of people calling me weird and I knew there wasn't enough time in a day to change anything at that point, but I didn't care. I just continued promoting my project. I knew that I couldn't fix anything. I knew that I had failed, but I didn't stop. Not doing anything just felt wrong to me. So I stared at my screen. I wasn't even hoping for a miracle. I was just in disbelief with what had happened. This was terrible. Oh yeah, I guess I need to show you the game that I made as well. Well, here it is. So, it's the last day, it's the end, right? And uh, we did not get many views. Um, you could say we failed the challenge, right? We're not the weirdest scratcher. And we never will be, right? Right? I was actually doing some thinking, you know? And getting people to say that I'm weird doesn't really make me the weirdest scratcher. The thing that makes me the weirdest scratcher is being weird. So in other words, we'll never know who the weirdest scratcher is. But in my opinion, it's me. <laughs>